Developing overnight, a hermitage woman is in custody after getting her car stuck on a train bridge in Duquesne. And this happened just a couple of hours ago. Our Chris Hoffman is live from the scene to tell us how she got there. So, Chris, what is the police chief telling you this morning? Yeah, good morning. The police chief says it all started with her drinking out the waterfront and ended with her car getting on one of these bridges over here. Now, where we are is right at the edge of Duquesne. So these bridges, if you're familiar with the area, it's not too far from Kennywood, and they go across the Monongahela River toward the Edgar Thompson steel plant there. Now, the car is off the bridge. We just talked to the police chief just a couple moments ago. He says the car is off the tracks, and all rail traffic is back open. But officers say this all happened around 2.40 this morning. They got a call from a woman. Uh, needing help, they found a 33 year old woman in the rail yard near the Port Perry Railroad Bridge, which is a narrow bridge, according to the police chief, carrying just trains across the Monongahela River between Duquesne and North for sales. Now we're told again that woman had been drinking at the waterfront before she started to drive home. Police say they are not sure why the driver ended up in the rail yard and tried to drive across the bridge. Now, in a post by Duquesne police, they say the car did. Quite well, considering it's not a locomotive, but it became disabled on the bridge closer to the north for sales end of the bridge. But she walked back to land on the Duquesne side of the river. Now, there are no reports of any injuries. Police do say the woman was taken to the hospital. She will be charged with DUI for this situation. We're live this morning. Chris Hoffman, KDKA Morning News.